How's it going everybody? My name is Manny G and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you came across this video through YouTube's recommendations or if you were searching up Nightmare Cup Battles and this came across uh, and you decided to click on it, first off, thank you for clicking the video. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you guys some Nightmare Cup Battles I'm doing with my good friend Matthew here. A uh, really awesome guy. Me and him just like to practice with each other a lot uh, for the PvP stuff. So if you do like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you like. So we're just getting on to the first battle here quickly and again these are all going to be against my uh, good friend matthew they're all going to be against him and so yeah so we're going to start with the hypno he's going to start off with lucario uh lucario obviously a really good pvp uh, pokemon and uh, i started with the hypno here my hypno is actually a legacy psy shock as you can see doing pretty good damage against lucario because it does it does have the uh confusion he goes with the power up punch i decide not to shield that because it's really not going to do a lot i go with psy shock and uh, obviously he needs to shield that and now uh, we're just going to keep going away. As you can see, uh, Hypno doing really good against the uh, Lucario. And uh, I end up shielding this because I figured he was going to go with Shadow Ball since I didn't ex since I didn't see Power Punch come up uh, sooner. So you see he sends out Metagross. I just go for the Psy Shock, try to do as much damage as I can. Uh, Psy Shock not really going to do anything against Metagross since Metagross is part Psychic as well. But as you can see here, uh, Hypno doing pretty well. You know, doing a good chunk of damage. Unfortunately, couldn't get that last Psy Shock there. Uh, so I bring out the Hitmonchan. He brings out Umbreon, and uh, for some whatever reason, I switched to Zatsu here. I don't know why I switched, uh, mainly because Hitmonchan would do really good damage against Umbreon. So I don't understand why I decided to switch there. But as you can see, I end up switching back to um, my Hitmonchan after you know, he just destroys my Zatu. And I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible. I know Hitmonchan is going to do really well against uh, Umbreon. He ends up shielding that. And I end up shielding this move here just because I try to get as much, try to keep as much health as possible, I guess, on my Hitmonchan. So I know that uh, Hitmonchan is going to do really well, but unfortunately, um, he has that Medium Rash saved up um, from when he switched out. So that was my fault on that one there. But uh, yeah, good matchup, Matthew. So on to the next game here. And again, these are all going to be against Matthew, so name won't change. I go with the Claydol. He goes with the Blaziken. I'm actually in a really good position here because Claydol um is knows that confusion and just does a ton of damage as you can see here he immediately switches out to drapion and i stay in just because uh, i wanted to see how much damage the shadow ball does if he let it if he decided to let it go through which he does and it does a really good chunk of damage to him so um i know this is probably gonna be aqua tail i decide not to shield this to see how much damage it would do to me and again does a good chunk of damage so we're just gonna try to do as much damage as possible i end up shielding this second aqua tail that i know is coming um because i know i could get another gyro ball but i try to switch here um but i guess i came up with a little glitch there where it just wouldn't let me switch out for whatever reason so i just stuck with claydol um and as you can see that gyro ball took down his uh drape gun anyway so go with another gyro ball here the and uh just to see if i can burn a shield on him and what he does he does use and he just takes out my claydol there bring out the toxic croak and uh, i don't decide to shield this which is the crunch i'm doing a good amount of damage to toxic croak but again um, toxic croak being able to take down the blaze take down the tyranitar sorry and now uh, we're just going to town against this blaze can I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can. I block this here, um, mainly because I know that uh, Tox Shrook could probably take out the Blaziken there. So so I take the second game of our uh, of the good battles that we have here. So on to the next game here, and uh, I start off with the Alolan Raichu. He starts off with Tox Croak, and uh, Alolan Raichu is literally becoming my favorite uh, Nightmare Cup Pokemon. So um, we go into a little bit of lag here, as you can see. Um, He's not doing anything. Uh, I pretty much sensed it, but unfortunately, because I did press Thunder Punch um, during that lag, it ended up eventually going through, as you can see there. So, um, But the lag ended up resolving itself for the most part. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, the reason why I was able to easily win that there. Um, but he brings out the Alolan Muck and uh, just charging up Thunder Punches. There's a reason why I like Alolan Raichu, just able to charge up its movesets so fast. Um, but unfortunately, it, take, uh, it goes down by Lowen Mark. Bring out the Shift Tree, and Shift Tree is another really good choice for this cup as well, just because Razor Leaf does so much damage. He ends up switching out to Gardevoir. I go with the Leaf Blade, and uh, look at this damage. Look at the, look how the amount of damage that uh, that the Leaf Blade did to uh, the Gardevoir. I don't think that uh, Matthew was expecting that, and I go with another Leaf Blade here, and uh, he ends up just letting it go through since uh, I think he knew he was pretty much done for on that one. So. Uh, so yeah, another good game. And uh, we're going to go right into the next one here. 
and we and we start out with the Chronon, which is one I just wanted to test to see how it would do in this. I don't recommend using Chronon. Um, yeah, I was just, again we were just testing here, and uh, so yeah, so these are both dark types, really not going to do much damage to each other. I mean, foul play did a decent amount of damage there, and I go with the night slash. You see how much damage he does, and again, really not doing anything. But surprisingly, Crawdon is able to just hold his own against Umbreon here. You know, pretty much the health wise is pretty much almost the same. I'll let this go through, thinking it's going to kill Crawdon, but look at that. Pretty much Crawdon just survived on one HP, so I can get off another Night Slash. And yeah, so I'm surprised that Crawdon lasted as well as he did. I bring up my Primate, which is his Legacy uh, Cross Chop Karate Chop, and uh, or Karate Chop Cross Chop, I should say. And I brings out Lucario power up to that cross chop here seeing if he would burn the shield which he does and we're just going to town uh, i end up shielding this power up punch just because you know primate's doing really well on his own treasure miller cross chop hoping to burn his last shield which i believe he does let go so yeah he doesn't use the shield there brings out metagross just destroys uh primate and then i bring out a low and and then just go to town it's just the amount of health that uh, a low and takes off of uh, any psychic type is ridiculous. I mean, the fact that this little rat here was able to take down the almighty Metagross is pretty funny, in my opinion. So, I end up taking that game. So, we go on straight to the next one here. And I start off with the Alolan Raichu. He starts with the Tox Choke. Again, uh, just a pretty good matchup overall. You just do got to watch out for that Mud Bomb. He switches out to the Claydol. And uh, I end up staying in this uh, just to see how much damage it would do. And it doesn't do anything because Claydol is also rock type. So I just do a couple more damage in, switch out to Alolan Eradicate, and uh, I decide to let this go through um, because it's Psychic. I was thinking Gyro Wall, I want to see how much damage it did, but saying that it he used Psychic instead, I know that I don't need to shield if he can get off another Psychic. So um, yeah, it just does nothing to Alolan Eradicate and just pretty much just take him down with the quick moves. So pretty much just tapping the screen there. Just trying to see what to use next. He brings out Toxic Croak. I go with Hyper Fang. I probably should have went with um, his own move, but he ends up blocking it regardless. So, and uh, I bring back the Alolan Raichu. Got that Thunder Punch ready to go to see, hopefully, to have him waste the shield, which he lets go through. And I shield this because I am expecting that Mud Bomb, uh, Mud Bomb would automatically just destroy Alolan Raichu. But being able, Alolan Raichu just being a trooper being able to just charge up that move i go with the wild charge here to try to see if i can bluff him and he actually doesn't let it go through i think he was expecting thunder punch there um so which is actually awesome for me so with the wild charge doing so much damage i bring out here you see polyrath my polyrath is also legacy mud shot for his fast move so just being able to charge up those charge moves super fast and just going to power up punch um probably the the charger you want to use regardless um for the polyrath so i end up taking that game as well so a really good game for Matthew there. And uh, we're going to go on to the next one here. So so for the next one, I start off with Zatu. He starts off with a Shift Tree, which is a pretty eh, matchup for me just because, uh, you know, Psychic is weak to Dark. Um, and just Shift Tree alone is just super effective or just super strong with that Razor Leaf. He switches out, as you can see, to the Spirit Tomb as I was charging up for the Flamethrower and with my Skunk Tank. And now we're just going to town. I go with, try to go with that Sludge Bomb there. But he ends up getting his move first. And I decided to block it. Um, just because so I can, you know, I can go with that Sludge Bomb. Just to see how much damage this would do. Um, and it does a good chunk of damage. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter what you use. Flamethrower or Sludge Bomb against the Spirit Tomb. They're pretty much going to do the same. Um, but I block this here just because I know I can get off another charge move. With the Sludge Bomb to see if I could bait his shield or have. But uh, he lets that go through so. He is uh, one up on shield, and uh, we're just trying to see what he brings out next. Brings out the shift tree, and uh, I bring out the hit one chain just because it's going to do pretty, you know, a decent amount of damage to uh, the shift shift trees. Well, he brings out a low one right shoe, and uh, I know I'm in trouble here because I know that uh, my I know that I have Zatu uh, waiting, and Zatu is just going to get destroyed by electric. So unfortunately, hit one chain goes down, and my only saving grace is to try to get to that ominous win. But uh, as you can see here, again, Alolan Raichu just charges up his moves super fast. So uh, rip uh, Zatu there. So good game. Good game on there, Matthew. And uh, we're going to go on to the final match here of the video. Um, and uh, yeah, so again, if you guys do enjoy this, did enjoy this video and you guys want to see more, 
please let me know. I'll be happy to do more stuff like this. So, as you can see, I started off with the Alolan Raichu. He starts off with Lucario, and uh, he's able to get that Power Round Punch uh, charged up first. I let this go through again. Does a decent amount of damage, but I know it's not going to flat out, you know, kill uh, the Alolan Raichu there. I go with the Thunder Punch. He lets that go through, and uh, he ends up going with another Power Up Punch. And uh, I shield this just because, again, I know I can get another Thunder Punch off, uh, hoping to either burn his last shield or he'll let it go through. And he ends up burning the shield here. So uh, so I am, uh, I do have the advantage with the shields right now. I bring out Toxic Crow, just going to be able to just tear away through that uh, Lucario. And now we're just, as you can see, spamming the uh, the screen there, trying to see what he brings out next. Brings out the Spear Tomb. And I go with Sludge Bomb here. Um, I probably could have just used the uh, Mud Bomb just because it charges faster, but... Um, I don't know why, I just felt like uh, Sludge Bomb would do more damage to uh, the Spirit Tomb. So I end up blocking his move there. I go with another Sludge Bomb and uh, end up taking out his Spirit Tomb. And then he brings out Alone Raichu, which, uh, again, a really awesome Pokemon. And uh, he's going to end up taking down my uh, Toxic Crook there, even though I had the Bomb ready. But I have Shift Tree, and just the Razor Leaf just does so much damage. It's ridiculous. So I end up taking that game. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.